In today's video, we're going to create this design that you see here using Adobe Dimension and Adobe XD. I'm going to split this video into two parts. And today's video, we're going to set up our basic wireframe for our website. Let's go ahead and get started. To get started, I have regular 1920 by 1080 artboard, and I'm going to turn on the layout and lower the opacity on the columns to about 10%. Before I forget, there is a completed project file in the community tab for those of you who are members if you'd like to go ahead and download that. In the top right corner, I'm just going to zoom in. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and just drag out a decent sized rectangle. T on the keyboard for the type tool. Let's create a sign up button. Today's font is going to be Roboto. And I'm going to leave this at 20 point font and we'll make that medium weight. Align it to the center since it's going to be inside this button. And let's add this as all capital. Selecting that and holding shift and grabbing our rectangle, we're going to center align the inside of that rectangle and hit command G to group it together. Now we can select the padding option to quickly size this rectangle to an appropriate size. Right now it's a little big, so we'll just scale that down. And so for the first number here at the top, we'll do 22 on the top, 22 on the bottom, and then the other two we'll do 30. And now our button looks more like a button. It's going to line that here on the right side column. That's the furthest column on the right. And then next to that, we'll create some links. These links are going to be 20 size font, but we're going to bump those down to regular. And I'm going to go ahead and call this one templates and align it to the right. Since this is the first link, we're going to put a little extra space from the left hand side of this button and then hold alt and create a duplicate. And for the rest of the links, they'll have 50 in between each of them. I've just created three links for now. So we have templates, freebies, 3D assets, and sign up. On the left hand side, we need a logo and a navigation icon. So I'm going to hold Alt once more and drag over one of our links. And we'll touch it here on the second column on the left. And we need to shift this text to a left align. And we can just give this a name. For our logo, we'll just use text. I'm going to bump this up to 26 size font and bold weight. And we'll also add that as uppercase. And then I'm going to load up Nucleo and grab a menu icon. Let's use box icons and grab the three line hamburger menu. And we'll scale that up to about 30 on the width. So it's a decent size. And we're going to align that on the furthest left column in our design. Clicking and dragging to select everything, we can line that vertically together. And then we'll put about 40 spacing from the top. So now we have a basic navigation. For this hero design, I want to have it split completely in half. So I'm going to grab a rectangle and go from the center of the artboard and just scale this rectangle to the boundings of our canvas. Next, I'm going to hold shift and hit the up arrow key 10 times to go up 100 pixels from the bottom of the artboard. From there, I can drag the top down to match the top of the artboard. So now we have a perfect size rectangle that is 960 by 980 and we have 100 spacing from the bottom of the artboard. With that selected, I'm gonna hit Command Shift, left square bracket key to send it all the way to the back. And then we'll remove the border and set a decent fill color, something like a gray for now, just for a placeholder. On the left hand side, we're gonna create a large heading. So I'm gonna grab the type tool once more and paste in some text. This is gonna be a 120 size font. And for that, we'll go with 144 line height. Make sure it's aligned to the left. And for the font, let's go with impact to make it nice and bold. Gonna align this with the logo here on this second column on the left. And then below that, we'll drag out a text area. So T on the keyboard, and I'm just gonna click and drag to drag out a box. Just gonna fill that with some text. And then we'll change this back to Roboto, 20 size font, regular weight, and 30 on the line height. Double click on the bottom point of the box there to snap that box to the size of our text. We need some space in between the heading and this body font. So I'm just going to touch it and then hold shift and hit the down arrow key to add 10 spacing in between our body and our heading. Let's go grab our sign up button, hold alt and drag out a duplicate. And we'll reuse this to create our call to action button. And so we'll just change the text. So this hero website is providing 3D models for designs. So we're going to have get access to our models for our button. And I'm going to edit this one to not be full uppercase. I only want the G capital. And also let's capitalize our text 
So we have everything capital with that as well. Now that we have our rectangle and our text, I'm gonna hit Command Shift G to ungroup this. That way we can edit the rectangle freely. And I'm just gonna drag it over to the right. We'll grab a nice arrow icon from Box Icons, flip it around, and drag it into our rectangle. I'm just gonna double click twice on our icon and grab these back two points here holding shift and just drag them straight out to make a fairly large line for our arrow. I'm gonna put 30 points of spacing from the right of this box and then we'll make sure everything is centered together and that will do for our second button. We had 10 spacing in between the heading and the body, and I always like to add a little bit extra spacing in between the body and the button. So we'll go with something like 50 spacing from the body text. Just space that out nicely. Let's click and drag to select all of that. Hold shift and drag up until it snaps to the center of the artboard vertically. And that'll be a good position for our left side content. So this is a basic wireframe for our design. So I'm gonna select the artboard and turn off the columns for now so we can see what we have. So that's gonna do it for part one of this two-part video series for designing this hero section. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more design, Adobe XD, and dimension-related content. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.